So now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the production side of referring expressions in children with um, ASD. So the literature on reference production in ASD offers mixed findings with evidence for overspecification. So this is using um, a full noun phrase when a pronoun would be sufficient. Um, also underspecification. So using a pronoun when a full noun phrase is necessary as well as no difference to TD controls such that the distribution of referring expressions is in line with typical development. In 2009, Arnold and colleagues compared the narratives of young versus old children, both with and without ASD. Um, in their reference production task, children watched short cartoon videos and then had to tell narratives to accompany those cartoons. Um, they found that all groups were remarkably similar in their distribution of reference types, however that the younger group of ASD produced fewer pronouns and instead were more likely to use explicit um, expressions, so full noun phrases. Um, and this is evidence for overspecification. And just to be clear that the older group um, of children with ASD and, um, were the same as their uh, TD counterparts. So this was only found in the youngest group um, of ASD. Um, in 2015, Novogrodsky and Edelson examined both the story retelling and story generation in children with ASD compared to typically developing controls. Um, and so for their story retelling task, children told a story that accompanied a 12-page, were told a story that accompanied a 12-page picture book, and then their task was to retell that story as best they could. Um, for the story generation task, they um, had to tell a story from beginning to end that accompanied a 24-page picture book. Um, they found that the ASD group um, were, was consistent with the TD group in their distribution of pronouns, um, and this was for story retelling. However, for the story generation task, um, the ASD group produced um, significantly more ambiguous pronouns, um, and this is evidence for underspecification. Um, the use of pronouns without any clear antecedents is very common in young children and is often attributed to an immature theory of mind that develops with age. Um, this would be consistent with a theory that ASD is a deficit in theory of mind. Um, however, what is not explained by this account is why there wasn't a difference in the story retelling task. Um, if there was an inability to take the listener into account for the story generation, the same should be the case for the story retelling. Um, perhaps a better explanation is that story generation is much more cognitively demanding and thus requires greater executive functioning. And we also need to keep in mind that the story retelling task was only 12 pages, whereas the story generation task was 24 pages, which can be very long, um, especially for an individual with um, autism spectrum disorder. Um, so in 2015, Kuiper um, and colleagues specifically designed a study to investigate the speaker's ability to take the listener into account um, while choosing referring expressions, and they examined this at various points in the discourse. So their production task was a six-page storybook, which you can see at the bottom of the screen, um, and it had three critical discourse positions. So the first critical condition was the introduction um, of new reference, where you should use a full noun phrase. Um, the second was the maintenance of reference, where you should use a pronoun. And then the third is the reintroduction of a reference that is not the current discourse topic for which you should use a full noun phrase. So in the bottom we can see in picture one we should use a full noun phrase to introduce the referent. In picture two we can use a, a pronoun to maintain his reference. In pictures three we want to use a full noun phrase to, re to re introduce this new character. Um, in pictures four and five we could use a pronoun, and then in picture six, we want to use a full noun phrase um, in order to, so the speaker knows that who we're talking about because um, the character is not the current discourse topic. In addition to this task, they collected measures of theory of mind, inhibition, and working memory. So they found no group differences between the ASD and the TD controls, such that both groups um, appropriately chose referring expressions in all three discourse positions. However, they did find an effect of working memory and second order theory of mind when introducing, when reintroducing reference. So this critical um, sixth page condition. Um, and second order theory of mind is understanding the beliefs of someone else about a third person. So in other words, individuals with poor working memory and uh, poor second order theory of mind were more likely to choose an inappropriate referring expression. So here they would use a, uh, a pronoun instead of a full noun phrase. Um, these findings suggest that difficulty um, with referring expressions may be related to more general cognitive abilities such as executive functioning. 
Um, so having evidence for all three cases, um, over-specification, under-specification, and no difference um, compared to TD controls paints a very unclear picture. Um, one explanation for the contradictory findings may be complexity of the task. So it is clear that in a relatively simple task, so the last study we saw was six pages and two characters, um, children with ASD uh, perform similar to TD controls and thus are able to take the listener's perspective into account. However, um, as the context becomes increasingly more complex, um, keeping track of reference is more cognitively demanding and thus requires greater executive functioning. Um, little is known about how children with ASD comprehend reference in real time, and in order to better understand the discrepancies found in production, um, we first need to know if children with ASD are appropriately attending to referring expressions during online language processing. Um, so that is the end of this section, and in the next section we'll talk about how we can investigate um, children's ability to comprehend uh, referring expressions.